New tonight at 11, a northern Michigan mother is counting her blessings. Ten little fingers and ten tiny toes. But it's not when the baby arrived that's getting attention. It's where. 7 and 4's Jamie and I sat down with the parents. She joins us live in the studio. Jamie, what was so special about this baby's birth? Kristen, it sounds like a storyline from a movie, and it's definitely something Lacey Strickland never thought would happen to her. She ended up giving birth to her second daughter on the way to the hospital in the car. And thankfully, everybody's doing just fine. She turned out perfect. Lacey Strickland and Stephen Morse wrapped up their baby Wednesday afternoon and headed home from the hospital. But at just two and a half days old, little Envy Azalea is no stranger to the road. 911. Hello? 911. Yeah, we just had a baby in a car. We're on, uh, we're, we're just outside of Kingsley. The couple tried making it from Cadillac to Traverse City and almost decided to turn around. But they kept going and Lacey's water broke along the way. I told him to pull over, but I think he thought I was just like maybe complaining a little too much or something. And then I said, no, really, like she's coming. You have to pull over. But by the time he looked and pulled over, I had already had her. I looked over. Oh, <laughs> and yeah, we pulled over into this driveway and uh, threw it in park and turned it off and ran out to the other side. Morse called 911. As it turns out, it was a first for the dispatcher. Yes, I've uh, dealt with uh, women in labor before, but never uh, in active birth. Donald Golski had to give Morse instructions. Without pulling on it, do you have a string or anything, a shoelace, anything you can yep. tie tightly around the umbilical cord? I wear boots and she had flip flops on, so we ended up using the waistband string out of her sweatpants. Emergency crews showed up and Lacey and Envy were taken to the hospital in an ambulance. Both mom and baby were healthy. Her color, she wasn't like blue or anything and you could tell she was breathing. But if she had to do it again, Lacey says the car is not the place to have a baby. No, or I would have just stayed home <laughs> and just done it at my house or went to a closer doctor, but no, not in a car. <laughs> A lot of family members are asking why Lacey didn't leave for the hospital sooner. She told me that she didn't wait to the last minute. It just came on suddenly, and there wasn't anything she could do about it. Reporting live in the studio, Jamie Innes, 7 and 4 News. All right, thanks a lot, Jamie. Both Stephen and Lacey would like to thank the dispatchers and the emergency crews that showed up for being so professional and helping them through the birth of their child.